I'd like to welcome everyone back to my Bible study, and we're going to continue in Exodus chapter 32, verse 19. And last time we left off, uh, Joshua, he heard the voices and noise and shouts of victory, and here it was the Israelite people committing adultery, and they were lifting up their voice to the golden calf. Verse 19. So it was as soon as he came near the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing. So Moses' anger became hot, and he cast the tablets out of his hand and broke them at the foot of the mountain. Verse 20. Then he took the calf which they had made, burned it in the fire, and ground it to powder. And he scattered it on the water and made the children of Israel drink it. Now, scholars say that we do not know what water is here Moses was talking about, but he made the sons of Israel drink it, and this means they had to suffer the consequence of their actions, and it was not pleasing to them to drink this water. Now, verse 21, And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought so great a sin upon them? Now we know that Aaron was led astray and he was guilty. And Aaron participated in this great sin. He actually formed the golden calf. As a leader, he was responsible for his leadership. And he was just hearing the people and not hearing God. Verse 22, So Aaron said, Do not let the anger of my Lord become hot. You know the people that they are set on evil. Now he's trying to blame the people for the sin that he committed. Verse 23, For they said to me, Make us gods that shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Verse 24, And I said to them, Whoever has any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it to me, and I cast it into the fire, and this calf came out. Now we know in the last chapter, 32, in verse 4, that Aaron received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made the molded calf himself. Verse 25, Now when Moses saw that the people were unrestrained, for Aaron had not restrained them, to their shame among their enemies, and Moses stood in the entrance of the camp and said, Whoever is on the Lord's side, come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together to him. Verse 27, And he said to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let every man put his sword on his side and go in and out from entrance to entrance throughout the camp, and let every man kill his brother, every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. Now back then there were gates for each tribe. And elders from each tribe gave their leadership. Verse 28, So the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and about 3,000 men of the people fell that day. Now Aaron belonged to the tribe of Levi, and we see that he also repented from his sins. Verse 29, Then Moses said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, that he may bestow you a blessing this day. For every man has opposed his son and his brother. Verse 30, Now it came to pass on the next day that Moses said to the people, You have committed a great sin, so now I will go up to the Lord, Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. So now Moses is about to go up to the mountain again to petition for the people of Israel. Verse 31. Then Moses returned to the Lord and said, Oh, these people have committed a great sin and have made for themselves a god of gold. Verse 32. Yet now, if you will forgive their sin... But if not, I pray, blot me out of your book, 
which you have written. Verse 33, And the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. So God is not talking about the book of life as we know it, because Jesus has not come on this earth yet. This is a, a different book. Verse 34 and 35, Now therefore go, lead the people to the place which I have spoken to you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit for punishment, I will visit punishment upon them for their sin. So the Lord plagued the people because of what they did with the calf which Aaron made. As we read here, the people are stuck with a plague. We do not know what kind of plague this is. Could it be from drinking the water where the golden calf was melted and dried and sprinkled in the river? Well, we, we really don't know, but we will continue next time in chapter 33. I hope you join me again. Thank you so much for taking part in this lesson, and God bless you all until the next time.